What's up, everybody? It's me again, Max with Odd Jobs. I'm out here in Beverly Hills, and I'm not talking California. I'm talking the good old beloved Mitten. And here, we're actually doing a pretty big project. It's been broken down into two phases. So I'm gonna show you guys phase one. So if you guys follow us on YouTube, you will see a video of us at a project in Southfield, Michigan. This is basically almost the same thing as that project, just a little bit smaller. So here, we're actually doing a retaining wall all the way along the property from line to line. And then we are also doing a nice, beautiful Beacon Hill granite smooth paver patio up top, followed by a little walkway. And then over here behind us is phase two that we're not even gonna talk about yet. Um, one thing I like about this project is we've switched it up a little bit. Normally we do Yukara and Beacon Hill Smooth. Here we're doing Pisa 2, right? So got to change it up a little bit, use a little bit different material. Still Unilock though. I'll rep it till I die. Um, this is actually the granite wall. So this is the granite Pisa 2. I'm actually a pretty big fan of this blend. As you can see, they have a beautiful blend here. All the veins are very solid, very strong and overall will give you a beautiful look. So as you guys may know, when you repeatedly do something day in, day out, you tend to remember all of the details of everything that you're doing. So when we stray away from our normal Yukara and Beacon Hill, we refer to our Bible, right? So this is the 2022 product data guide from Unilock. Um, this basically shows all material dimensions, what materials are made of what, which ones are permeable, which ones aren't. It shows the measurement of each block, so the thickness, the length, the width, all that fun stuff. As you can see here, it even gives you little helpful tips for retaining walls or permeable applications. And then also, say we're working with Beacon Hill Smooth, ha! <laughs> It shows you all the possible patterns that you could lay from Unilock themselves. Obviously, there's an endless amount of patterns that you can lay when you're using a three-piece, um, but these are the specific patterns from Unilock that they suggest that we use. Now that you've seen the wall, you'll notice that I'm standing in a big pit of gravel. What this pit of gravel is going to become is another beautiful paper patio. So this is actually, like I said before, Beacon Hill Granite Smooth, followed by another lovely dark charcoal border. Uh, Holland Premier, of course. We are also gonna be doing in-light paver lights in every corner of this patio slash walkway. So there'll be two over there, three right here, one over there, one there, and two more in those corners. Um, this project, started out as a patio and turf. Um, the customer had a ton of trees back here because this is a pretty wooded area. Um, we actually told them they should probably remove some trees if we're gonna do a patio here because tree roots tend to mess with your paver surface over time. And they decided that they wanted to get rid of the trees. So once we got rid of the trees, we actually were able to expand the project just a little bit and that required a retaining wall. So here we are now. Josh is currently on top of the retaining wall, getting this beautiful angle, by the way. Thank you, Josh, for your beautiful angles. And uh, this one's just gonna turn out great. These guys have been rocking out. So they've been on this project building for four days, four days, and they've gotten probably, I'd say, eight pallets of wall block laid so far. Obviously, I know you guys on YouTube can do it way faster. Get in contact with us, I wanna hire you. 248-302-9175. All right guys, so the first thing I wanna show you over here, my pants are the correct length for my leg today. Another part I wanna show you is this is going to be our tallest part of the wall. 
that string line over there is probably really hard to see on camera, but that's probably about level with my head, and I'm six foot one with my boots on. So this wall, technically from bottom of wall to top of wall is gonna be about six foot, um, but in front of the wall, it's gonna be buried until about fourth course down. So we're gonna have two buried courses over here. We're also gonna be doing geogrid every other course on this corner to make sure that we have a super strong corner because we know that the first part of a wall to fail is normally the corner. So we build our corners nice and stout to ensure that your corner is the longest lasting part of the wall. Right here on top of this course, we're gonna be running geogrid back until the top of the wall um, every two courses. It's kind of really overbuilt. There's really no need to have all that geogrid behind such a small wall. Um, but like I said, we like to be redundant here and we build things to last. So yes, it's a little bit overdoing it, but whoever went wrong overdoing it, right? So as you can see here, there's two nubs or knobs or knuckles or alignment bars, whatever you guys want to call them. Um, there's two here for a specific reason. You can knock this back one off and set the wall vertically on top of each other. In this instance, for this specific wall, we decided to do the factory setback. That's why both of these are here. Um, there's actually a pocket. Give me one second. On the bottom of the block so that it kind of fits together nice and snug right it'll be really hard to push this block forward and it'll be really hard to pull it backwards from the factory it is meant to be set back but is also intended for you to stack vertically so as i stated before you just knock this back one off and then the block will sit with the back of the notch to the back of the knuckle right so that will also lock your block in place all right guys that's all the free game you're gonna get from me today that's all i have to show you at this beverly hills project that we're currently working on stay tuned because there is more to come obviously we're not even halfway done yet so you will get to watch us progress and build this project to what it's going to become and i'm super excited because this one's going to turn out amazing so if you're not already subscribed give us a subscribe you know shoot a like leave us a comment share with your friends and if you are looking for something like this in your backyard give us a call today 248-302-9175 we look forward to working with you